But check this out. If management is serious about these service cuts, RTO, we are in some deep, deep, deep trouble. Now, for those who don't know, Canelo Gomez put out his fight back plan, his first step in the fight back plan. And if you ain't see it, this is it right here. And I'm only gonna read to you guys what's rectangled off in this red. This is the most important. He said, our next step will be setting up a petition and organizing to make sure all elected officials whose districts will be adversely affected by the service cuts sign on to the petition. We will also approach all transit and rider advocacy groups to also sign on. A petition? A petition? You mean to tell me that he's going to go out to the field to go get signatures to do what? You think he's going to be able to take those signatures to Richard Davy, to Jan Oliba, and say, hey, look how many signatures I got. Um, I, I don't think this is good. They're going to crumble that up and throw it in the garbage. And why is he petitioning politicians? Shouldn't they be going straight to Kathy Hochul? I mean, they did everything for her this election. They carried her water. And just in case we forgot, let me remind you guys what they did. Local 100, are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Can we improve your condition to get you the respect you deserve? Are you with me? Yeah. My friends, I am with you all the way, and I thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. They carry Kathy Hochul water for months. Doesn't it make sense for them to go to her and say, hey, what's going on here? Because Kathy Hochul runs the MTA. She runs New York City Transit. That should have been the first step. Right? And if she don't comply, then we go rally in front of her office. And we show the people how much of a hypocrite she was. But we dealing with a union administration who operate from the knee position instead of standing upright ten toes down. And let me ask you guys this. Don't you find it strange that management want to make these service adjustments only in RTO? And they claiming it's because ridership is down? on Mondays and Fridays. So let me let me get this clear. Let's think for a second. Ridership is only down on subways and not buses. Buses is immune to the low ridership. And let's be clear. There's no low ridership. We see all the passengers that's on our trains. We see all the passengers that's on our buses. The truth is, nobody's paying anymore. People are not paying to get on the subways and these buses. But once again, they only want to attack subways. Why is that? Because they know if they attack buses, they will be in for a fight. Subways is for the taking. They know that Canelo Gomez is limited. They know that he don't have the skill set. They know that he don't have the ability to organize and mobilize. They know that John Samuelson, Tony Utano, and Richie Davis don't know how RTO works and operates. Management is not stupid. They know how to pick their battles. And Canela Gomez is severely limited in this battle. He had 12 months to turn this whole thing around. 
to organize and mobilize the members, to make the members feel like they are a part of something. Instead, he spent these past 12 months, selfies, raffles, selfies, raffles. Oh, let's not forget about when he shut down Coney Allen Yard. Yeah, he got a lot of blowback from management from that. They threatened him with the Taylor Law, and he was running around here scared. They told him, because he told me, they told him not to do that again. Management and the union told him, do not do that again. And he did this for safety. Don't you find that odd that the union, Richie Davis, Tony Utano, would tell him, don't do that again? And management told him that also? And he listened. Because he was scared. He's afraid. Picture being a union vice president and you're afraid of management. This is what we're dealing with. Canela Gomez is not even fit to be the leader of the Boy Scouts, even though he does an excellent job at raffles and selfies. But he don't have the ability to lead. Now, I'm going to give Canela and his administration some game in how to fight back because I, I, I find it strange that they would want to do petitions. No, we go fight the MTA on the property. We don't need to go far. We go fight them on this turf right here. Now, these are the lines they want to affect with this service adjustment, reduced service, whatever they want to call it. It's a service cut. The one, six, seven, E, F, L, and Q. Let's look at the Q line for an example. The Q line blows up every single day. Crews on that Q line is ping-ponging all day. Now, with these service cuts, service adjustments, management is planning on implementing it in June during our next pick. How about this? They don't got to wait to June. How about we operate by the book? How about we take our comforts? Taking our comforts alone would destroy the railroad. None of that, oh, you come in, you only got five minute break, then you go back down. No, Canella, why don't you go up to 96th Street or Stillwell or Monday or Friday so we can show management in real time what a service adjustment look like when the crews operate as per school car and we take our breaks? How about that? How about you go to 179 or Stillwell and do the same thing on the F? How about you go to World Trade Center or Parsons and show them on the E? Or how about Rockaway Parkway or 8th Avenue on the L? There's things that we could do here. They ain't got to wait to June to see how it's going to look with the new schedules. We could show them what a service adjustment look like right now. But you scared. You want to go do some petitions. Petitions? RTO, we in some serious trouble. I just gave him some game. Let's see what he go do.